Warriors, welcome back to the Realmcast, the ultimate destination for all things Mortal Kombat. Today we will retrospectively look at the turbulent journey of Ash Williams and the mishandled attempt to bring him into the brutal world of Mortal Kombat 11. We'll be covering all the latest updates, including the unexpected twists that upset Mortal Kombat and Evil Dead fans alike. So grab both your Necronomicon and controllers and let's dive into the hard-pounding realms of Mortal Kombat versus the Evil Dead. Mortal Kombat 11, since its release, was always a hub of speculation and excitement for new character additions, even for a long while after the support for the game had seemingly and later confirmed to have ended. Amidst all the rumblings, one name stood among the rest, Ash Williams from the legendary Evil Dead franchise. A story takes off in April of 2019, when eager fans and data miners uncovered intriguing information about potential DLC fighters in Mortal Kombat 11. The leak brought to light the discoveries made by those who obtained early copies of the game and explored its files. According to data miners, characters like Shang Tsung and Nightwolf were forecasted as possible downloadable characters for Mortal Kombat 11, with these character names being hidden within the game's code. Among the other names unveiled that had not been officially announced yet were Fujin, Shiva, and Ash. Many enthusiasts speculated that this Ash could be the same beloved character from the Evil Dead franchise. The mere possibility of Ash hacking and slashing his way through Mortal Kombat sent shockwaves of excitement throughout the fandom. This data mining discovery added a new layer of excitement and anticipation to the ongoing discussions about the future of Mortal Kombat 11 and its seemingly ever-expanding roster of fighters. Fans eagerly awaited official confirmations and announcements from NetherRealm Studios to see if the leaked characters would become a reality in the game. But as many of our fellow combatants know, this journey was one wild roller coaster ride. Fast forward to May 6, 2019, when Bruce Campbell, the iconic actor behind Ash Williams, took to social media to address the swirling rumors about Ash joining the Mortal Kombat 11 roster. In a bold move, Campbell shared a photo of himself situated in the Mortal Kombat 2 stage, The Living Forest, effectively performing a fatality on the internet rumor about Ash being a DLC in Mortal Kombat 11. Fans were left disappointed and puzzled by this denial, which sparked a wave of speculation. Some fans couldn't help but wonder if there was more to the story or if Campbell's denial was part of the elaborate plan to surprise the fans with Ash's inclusion in the game. His method of rejecting the claims was certainly fitting to the style of Mortal Kombat in more ways than one. The denial ignited a new round of discussions and theories among the fan base, keeping their hopes alive and the anticipation growing. However, just a few weeks later on June 1st, 2019, Campbell unleashed a surprise by sharing the combat pack teaser for Mortal Kombat 11. This unexpected move left fans teetering on the edge of their seats. Alongside the trailer, Campbell dropped an intriguing comment stating, Boy, looks like a swell game. I'll have to check it out. This seemingly innocent remark sparked a wave of excitement among the fan base. The trailer featured the inclusion of previously leaked characters Shang Tsung and Nightwolf. Their presence in the trailer served to solidify the findings of the data miners from just two months earlier, confirming the accuracy of their predictions. To further feel the anticipation, the trailers concluded with the unmistakable audio cues, the shotgun cocking, and the menacing revving of a chainsaw. Speculation ran rampant, reigniting hopes for an unexpected Ash Williams crossover. Now let's jump forward to March 25th, 2020, a day that sent yet another shockwave for the Mortal Kombat community. A marketing email stirred up speculation about Ash Williams becoming a DLC character in Mortal Kombat 11. The email was sent to individuals of the Mortal Kombat mailing list. Upon closer examination of the email, fans quickly noticed the fine print at the bottom, which contained copyright and marketing rights information. It explicitly stated that the Ash character from Army of Darkness was licensed from Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer Studios, Incorporated. This revelation further fueled the excitement and speculation among fans as it appeared to indicate that Ash Williams joining the Mortal Kombat universe was inevitable. The marketing email, although not officially confirmed by the game developers, ignited a flurry of discussions and debate within the Mortal Kombat community. Some hailed it as a long-awaited confirmation of Ash's inclusion, while others were upset to see yet another guest character added to the Mortal Kombat roster. The unexpected twist injected a fresh wave of excitement and uncertainty among the ongoing saga surrounding Ash Williams and his potential journey into the Mortal Kombat universe. Five months later, on August 21st, 2019, the final two characters of the combat pack would be finally unveiled in a full trailer. However, much to the dismay of Ash Williams' hopefuls, he was noticeably absent from the lineup. 
Instead, the spotlight shone on the formidable Terminator and the iconic Joker. While the announcement of the Joker brought excitement to many fans, some couldn't help but notice that the face model of the Joker seemed hastily executed, falling short of the high standards set by the other Mortal Kombat characters. The sound of the shotgun and chainsaw were noticeably missing from the trailer in this full version. Five months after that, the official gameplay trailer for the Joker's reveal was released, leading to even more speculation. Some fans began to question if the Joker was a last minute replacement for Ash, the Joker's gameplay showcased a signature cane or crowbar, and a Batman puppet which cleverly concealed a gun. These fans speculated that these items could have easily been replaced with a chainsaw and a shotgun, fueling their belief in an alternate fate for Ash. These observations intensified the disappointment among fans, and only served to amplify their yearning for Ash Williams to join the game. Fans began discussing how Ash's inclusion could have brought a different level of excitement and authenticity, adding fuel to the ongoing desire to see him as part of the Mortal Kombat universe. The absence of Ash and the perceived shortcomings of the Joker's portrayal continue to be talking points among the passionate fan base, creating a sense of longing of what could have been. Despite Ash Williams not making it into Combat Pack 1, fans of the character continue to voice their desire for him to make it into the game in a later DLC. Further fuel would be added to the fire as Richard Epcar, the iconic voice of Raiden throughout the years, would answer a question regarding Ash Williams in an interview seemingly confirming that Bruce Campbell and his character were in fact coming to Mortal Kombat 11, stating, is Bruce Campbell going to be, oh, that's right, Bruce Campbell will be in Mortal Kombat. That's right, he's going to be part of the new package. See, everybody wants to be in Mortal Kombat, but they've got Peter Weller doing Robocop. The speculation was rife following the interview, and both fandom fully believed Ash Williams would be coming in Mortal Kombat in a follow-up combat pack. This, of course, never ended taking place. However, years later, and according to more recent comments from Bruce Campbell, the beloved actor known for his portrayal of Ash Williams in the Evil Dead franchise, it appears highly unlikely that Ash Williams will make an appearance in the Mortal Kombat series, including upcoming installments like Mortal Kombat 1. Contrary to the words of Richard Epcar that everybody wants to be in Mortal Kombat, Campbell has actually expressed his disinterest in seeing Ash in Mortal Kombat, and has instead suggested that Mortal Kombat characters should appear in an Evil Dead video game. Emphasizing his desire for a potential crossover to occur within the universe of Evil Dead, he has also expressed his preference for the iconic characters like Freddy and Jason to be featured in an Evil Dead video game. Furthermore, Campbell has emphasized complexities of the legalities and the importance of maintaining creative control within the Evil Dead franchise, which further diminishes the possibility of seeing Evil Dead guest fighters in Mortal Kombat 1 or future iterations. Based on the information available, it appears that Bruce Campbell's recent comments have shed light on the unlikelihood of Ash Williams gracing the Mortal Kombat universe. But of course, anything is likely. Just look at how long it took to get Jean-Claude Van Damme into Mortal Kombat despite being the literal inspiration for the game. Spoiler alert, over 30 years. And there you have it. We've explored the roller coaster ride of excitement, disappointment, and lingering uncertainty. Will Ash ever make it into the Mortal Kombat franchise? Only time will tell. But we will be here to keep you up to date on everything else Mortal Kombat related. Please smash that like, subscribe, and help share this video so you don't miss out on what's next. For now though, let us know your thoughts on whether you would like to have seen Ash Williams join the Mortal Kombat universe. Or would you rather like to see Mortal Kombat characters in an Ash Williams game? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay up to date on the latest Mortal Kombat news, interviews, discussions, and much more, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel along with the notification bell. By doing so, you'll never miss an episode of our engaging podcast, insightful interviews, and thrilling gameplay analysis. Join our growing community of Mortal Kombat enthusiasts and be part of the conversation so we can dive into the realm of Mortal Kombat together.